Hello, this is Janie with PuppyLovesMe.net. Today, we are taking a walk, or a swim, before we read today's book. Word of encouragement today, today, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. Today, we're going to read... Walt Disney's Pluto the Detective. So sit back and get comfy. Mickey and his dog Pluto lived together in a cozy little house. They were very good friends. Every morning, Pluto ran out to get Mickey's paper. Then they played tug of war with the newspaper. Mickey always let go at first. So Pluto always won. Sometimes they played go fetch. Mickey threw a stick. Pluto ran after the stick and brought it back to Mickey. I'm not sure if Rosie would do that. One day Mickey was reading the paper. He saw something very interesting. Hey, Pluto, he said, listen to this. The paper says there was a big jewel robbery yesterday, Mickey said excitedly. $50,000 worth of jewelry was stolen from Odo's jewelry. The off owner is offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who helps find the jewels. I'm sure the two of us could track down those robbers, said Mickey. Help me find the detective outfit. Mickey put his detective hat and coat on. Pluto put on his meanest look. They went outside and started searching. Pluto sniffed everywhere along the way. He kept his nose close to the ground so he would not miss anything. Then Pluto smelled something and started to run. Pluto just ran and ran and ran. He pulled Mickey behind him. Suddenly, Pluto jumped over the fence and broke his leash. Mickey fell flat on his face. On the other side of the fence, Pluto found what he was looking for, a bone. But just then, Pluto saw Butch, the biggest, ugliest, meanest looking bulldog Pluto had ever seen. The bone lay on the grass close to Butch. Luckily, Butch was asleep. Pluto knew that he should not take the bone from Butch, but the bone was too good to pass up. Pluto picked up the bone very quietly. Just then, Butch opened his eye and growled. Off ran Pluto, carrying the bone. Butch followed close behind. They ran down the street. They turned a corner and knocked over the grocers, fruits, and vegetables. Uh-oh. Pluto needed a place to hide from Butch. He saw a door and ran through it. He was going into the Hall of Mirrors. Inside, Pluto was surprised to see a lot of dogs. There were thin ones and fat ones, and they were all carrying bones. Pluto thought it was very strange. Suddenly, he saw Butch. Butch looked huge. Pluto had to get away from him. Pluto ran out of the Hall of Mirrors. He was still holding the bone. Butch was chasing him again. Pluto almost ran into a little girl with a lollipop. She dropped her lollipop and he dropped the bone. Butch picked up the bone and walked away. Pluto did not stop running until he came to the park. Then he saw that Butch was not chasing him. He looked for a place to rest. Pluto curled up under the park bench and fell fast asleep. Later, two men came into the park. 
One was short and one was tall. They were looking for something. The short man pointed at the park bench. I hit the package of jewels under there, he said. You fool, said the tall man. It's probably gone by now. The two men looked under the bench. There it is, said the other man, short man. It's under that dog. Uh-oh. Just then, Mickey came into the park. He was feeling sad and tired. He had spent hours looking for Pluto. Then Mickey heard something. That sounds like Pluto growling, he said to himself. Mickey whistled for Pluto. Pluto did not hear Mickey whistle. He was trying to get the package away from the two men. Finally, they lost their hold and fell down. Pluto trotted off with the package. He was proud of himself. All of a sudden, he saw Mickey. Pluto, said Mickey happily. Pluto ran to Mickey and licked him in the face. Then the two men ran up. That is our package, they said. Give it up. Give it to us. Okay, said Mickey. The man grabbed the package from Mickey, and then the string came loose. Beautiful jewels began to tumble out. There must be the jewel thieves we were looking for, Mickey said to himself. Mickey blew his whistle. The robbers were so busy picking up the jewels that they did not hear him. Two policemen came running and grabbed the thieves. Thanks, Mickey, said the policeman. You and Pluto did a fine job. The next night, Mickey and Pluto sat quietly by the fire. Mickey had the $5,000 reward. Pluto had a fancy new collar and a delicious new bone. With thanks for a fine detective job, town police. The end. Have a great day. Go out and get you some sunshine. Hey, Rosie.